Hey there. Well, before I get into the meat and potatoes of this video, I want to first say that I'm quite happy with the progress that we've made as far as acceptance or at least tolerance of homosexuality. Legalizing gay marriage federally was a huge step forward. Most gay people in the United States usually don't have to live in fear anymore. In most states, you can't fire someone for being gay. There are still a few states to go, though. But I was just thinking about how sleazy some gay bars were in the 1990s. Some of the bars, some of the gay establishments, certainly not all. And especially if they were crowded and you dressed to show yourself off, you could expect to be groped by someone. They were a feminist's worst nightmare, and I miss it so much. I miss a lot of things that used to be considered gay culture. Not queer culture, not LGBTQ plus culture, but gay culture. Honestly, I kind of miss the exclusivity. I also miss when gay culture and gay activities and, you know, things that are going on within the gay community were a mystery to most straight people. We could live our lives separate from the judgments of society because they knew very little about it. But now it's pretty much mainstream. Now when someone thinks of a gay person, they think of LGBTQ plus activism in all of its extremes. They think of drag queens reading to children. They think of rainbow capitalism, you know, where all these different companies put rainbow on everything and you just can't get away from it. Yeah, rainbow capitalism. They think of someone who supports the idea of there being unlimited genders and that eight-year-olds have the capacity to choose the gender they'll want to be as adults. So now to say that you're gay is to say that you're in lockstep with all of this stuff. At least that's, that's according to society anyway. When someone used to think of a gay man, they would think of things like uh, dance music, liberalism, campiness, and a heavy focus on sex. I miss when those were the primary associations. I mean, I was always a little bit annoyed at the association with some of the more extreme politics of the 90s, but it was the 90s. It, it wasn't nearly like it is now. And I don't like most EDM, EDM, electronic dance music. I don't like most EDM. I mean, a lot of EDM I absolutely despise. It's repetitive, hypnotic, and sometimes makes me panic. But it's just music. But anyway, I could live with all of those associations. That's fine. The way it is now, if I was somewhere between 17 and 25 and was thinking about coming out, you know, this type of stuff might stop me from wanting to come out. I don't know if I'd want to be associated with all of that stuff. And as I've said in several videos, I think that what LGBT activism has become over the last decade or so is going to cause a terrible backlash that we've already started seeing happen over just the past two years. And it's only going to get much worse because the pendulum is swinging the other way. So yeah, sometimes I pine for the 1990s, just saying.